music, paintings, and stage plays could make us weep or laugh. These art forms have challenged, comforted, and excited us. There must be a common thing that binds these music with other art forms. They must be interrelated. Because of the similarities and differences between music, which one hears, and painting, which one sees, have always been noticeable by the senses, one must have a clear idea how the different art forms are interrelated with each other. Hi, dear learners! Join me as we discover the relationship of music to other art forms and its history within the era, starting with the medieval to the Renaissance and to the Baroque periods. I am Fisher Jason, and you are watching Debet TV. The performance of musical compositions can be related to the performance of thinking the paintings and poems. If the notes on the pages are given life when it is performed, the paintings and poems when seen or read are transformed into spectacular imaginations. So, be ready with your pen, paper, and self-learning modules as we discover the amazing relationship of music to other art forms is starting with the medieval era. During the medieval period, music was monophonic and single-line plain chant. At that time, painting was also two-dimensional, single-line, and without any pictorial depth. The representative figures were flat, stylized, without volume or expression, and the painters were unknown. Medieval sculptures also did not follow the correct proportions. The dimensions of the sculptures seemed distorted, the upper body too long in comparison to the knees and legs. In the medieval period, the binary concepts expressed in music and painting found their equivalent in literature. For example, in the morality plays during this time, the protagonists and antagonists were either simply good or simply evil with no psychological depth and no evolutionary change during the course of the tale. Giovanni Boccaccio in his famous work, The Decameron, described the entertainment of a group of ten noblemen and women who fled Florence during the outbreak of the Black Death in 1348. In his introduction to the work, Boccaccio described how music and live in this aristocratic circle's time in exile. Only during the Renaissance period in the 14th, 15th, and 16th centuries did a profound change that occur in music, the arts, and literature. The Renaissance's human spirit, being born again, shaped not only musical, artistic, and literary production, but also laid the spiritual, intellectual, and moral foundation of life well into the 19th century. During the Renaissance, music became polyphonic, leaving the linearity of the plainchant monophony of the Middle Ages. For example, the tonic triad centered the musical composition on the voices that were equally in freedom and authority. The compositions wove these voices to create musical unity projecting the work as a harmonic whole.
Just as the tonic triad in music, the classical triangle in painting centered the image on the canvas. Painting during the Renaissance era had abandoned the medieval emphasis on narrative scenes and arrived at a central perspective. Music and painting also found their similarities to literature during the Renaissance era. It is notable that composers in the Renaissance period found a new relationship to word and voice, to prosody and meter, and to the pictorial and emotional content of their texts. However, in the late Renaissance music, a different texture emerged. It was the antagonism between discant and bass that began an entirely new sense of form, a sensuous delight in color and the expression of extreme emotion replaced harmony, order, and balance. The Baroque cast its shadows. The Baroque period is generally seen as the art of the Counter-Reformation. With the Reformation, the Catholic Church had lost a very large number of its believers and needed to reform itself. The said Reformation is manifested in the different art forms. There was also a change in the architectural layout of church buildings, bringing the priests and public closer together. In a similar way, music composers changed the relationship to the building and the congregation. Baroque composers took up new themes as the opera scene depicted illusions, matching the painted heavens of Baroque churches. The element of surprise in the performances, the soaring trumpets in the theater-like atmosphere of the heavily decorated Baroque churches, the painted heavens, the contorted, convex and concave movements of painted saints and angels, the ornate vestments of priests, the scented air of incense, the light cascading from the dome between Jesuit theater, playing and touching all of the senses. Baroque music, especially in that of the greatest of the era's composers, Johann Sebastian Bach, the new arts of sonority and color came into being. A polarity of voices developed, where the main importance and tension fell upon the outer voices, or the soprano and bass, with the middle voices, or altos and tenors, filling in. Yes, Baroque period composers broke with the past and brought a new emotion to the music. The outer voices provided the framework of the composition, and the chord became the building stone in its own right, and the basal continuo, the fundament. The fusing of such fundamental bass practice with counterpoint became the foundation for the fugue technique for Bach and Handel. In Baroque music, painting, and literature, the inclination was to withdraw from the realism of life, seeking enchantment in the life beyond, moving toward the marvelous, the stupendous, and the supernatural. We have already related music of the medieval, Renaissance, and Baroque to other art forms and its history within the era. For the assessment, your task is to determine whether the statement is true or false. You shall be given 5 seconds to give your answer. Are you ready? Let's get started! During the medieval period, music was monophonic and single-line plain chant. If you have answered true, you are correct. 
Just like the single line play chance, painting was also two dimensional, single line, and without any pictorial depth during the medieval period. In the morality plays during the medieval period, the character of the protagonist was dynamic. If you have answered false, you are correct. The protagonist character was flat and not dynamic. Protagonists were either simply good or simply evil with no psychological depth and no evolutionary change during the course of the tale. Just like the tonic triad in Renaissance music, the classical triangle in painting centered the image on canvas. If you have answered true, then you are correct. Painting during the Renaissance era had abandoned the medieval emphasis on narrative scenes and arrived at the central perspective. The Baroque period is generally seen as the art of Counter Reformation. If your answer is true, you are correct. The Catholic Church needed to reform itself because it had lost a very large number of its believers. In Baroque music painting and literature, the inclination was to focus on the realism of life. If your answer is false, you are correct. In Baroque music, painting, and literature, the inclination was not to focus, but to withdraw from the realism of life. Basing on what we discussed today, we can say that music and other art forms in each of the eras are interconnected. It should be noted that in the medieval period, plain chant, paintings, and sculptures commonly possessed linearity. However, unity and centrality were manifested in musical and artistic works in the Renaissance period. Meanwhile, we can consider that the ornamented music and the arts of the Baroque represent the final and highly refined crystallization of an aristocratic lifestyle. It is undeniable that the reason why music, painting, drama, architecture, and sculpture are related to each other is because they all employ elements like repetition, variety, intensity, rhythm, dialogue, balance, unity, and so on to capture their unique feature in their respective time. Dear learners, see you again in our next episodes here in Deped TV. I am Sister Jason saying, if there is no music, there will never be a human soul, because music is the language of the soul.